Welcome back, friends. Jersey here with some more Warriors Orochi 4. Last episode, we unlocked Shu Huang, Taishir Tse, Aya. We unlocked actually a handful of characters. Um, I went and put together two characters with totally brand new magic I have not seen yet. Talaria and Majolnir. Majolnir? Not quite sure. And I want to test out Kenshi and Usugi um, just to see if how different his fire attack actually is in comparison to Lu Shun, if there is any difference at all. So, uh, one thing I'm forgetting to do is giving these guys some skill points. <laughs> so I guess we could go ahead and do that real quick. Upgrade officers. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll give him one action. We'll go ahead and give him uh, some of that juice. So do you want attack? Do you want some health? We have two skill points. We'll give him some health there. So, because of the upgrade we got from the party, we're already in the 400 area, 400 damage area, because of the party upgrade. Uh, the one that we got last episode using the gems, the camp upgrade. So that's really nice for them. Uh, here is some juice for you. Here is one action, some attack, and some HP. Their uh, page actually looks very similar. We got a different page here, boys. Watch out. Some attack, some health. And we'll use these last two points on an increased action. Um, so, growth points, we leveled them up to six each, because I think level six was quite nice. Oh, and it's cool that I can kind of see the weapon down in the, the treasure, sacred treasure down there. So here's your Livatine. Okay, we have a, we have Thor's uh, hammer here. And we've got some boots. All right. You know who should have had these boots? I feel like an Altora should have had these boots. Like, wouldn't it make sense, to be honest with you? Is a... Anyway, um, so here's our team. Uh, change costumes. We don't know. These characters don't have any costumes, sadly. But who we are going to use as a mount is the Slipnir. It's the fastest mount we have. Oh, we got, a, we got the Chestnut. Oh, we got the Walnut. We got the Chestnuts. We got the, the Kelpie. Uh, 290 speed. That's a nice little uh, upgrade. Why? Well, it gets weaker in attack, but five more speed. In the end, it's all about speed, right? Do I really plan on using a mount to kill things for me? The behemoth certainly knows how to do that. Um, but this looks so cool that I almost can't turn it down. It's like a balance between the two. It's got some speed. It's got some attack. It's got a little bit of everything. And then it's got that bomb-ass design that I like. Anyway, uh, we're going to try this one, regardless. Uh, I think we are ready, guys. So, who did we get? We got Shu Huang last episode, Tai Shi Tzu. We got Kage Katsu with the Dine Slife uh, magic, which is not bad. It's not really one I'm a super fan of, but it's not bad. And we got, rest in peace, I am never going to use you. The Gillen Bursty. That, and, oh my god, I... I kind of want to put these people in order of what their magic is. I wonder if it does that. It does not do that. So, I'm not sure how this is going to work. How, uh, putting a team together. Here we go, here we go. Uh, sacred treasure. Boom! That's how I want it. Do it by sacred treasure, baby. Hell yeah. So here's all my Caduceus users. My Trident users are all here. Brissing Gamins. We got the Glypneer squad. They actually have four of them. Only one Nectar so far. The Dying Slice, the Bow of Artemis. Live of Time, sweet. This is much better. And then the three Rest in Peace players that I'm never going to use ever. Ah, this is good. I like that I was able to organize that. Anyway... Uh, let's get into the next battle. These are three totally new characters we haven't messed with yet. We're going to move into the collapse of Oda's allied forces. We can get a skill orb here. Juran and Almasa reach Yuan Chao and Yoshimoto within seven minutes. That is my biggest concern. Forget the other two. That's the one I want. Skill orbs, what is that, three skill points you get? Once I get the team I really, really want, I just throw all those orbs on them, they get super strong, nuts ultra big, and then they just kill everybody. So find out the, tro uh, the truth of Nobunaga Oda's mysterious power, complete Jiashu's plan to throw the enemy into chaos. So let's get this going. Whew, I gotta make sure they get there, I want the skill orb, that's a priority. 
彼らに安堵の表情はない自分と織田軍との圧倒的な戦力差を見せつけられたからである織田軍を止めるには信長の力の解明が必要そう判断した反乱軍は織田の同盟相手の切り崩しを図る第一目標は核の助言により今川義元に決まった反乱軍は早速今川攻略に乗り出す今川領には義元と同じく信長と手を結んでいる遠征と東卓がいた個性の強い君主が一堂に会した戦場に波乱の予感が漂う敵には遠征それに東卓もいるみたいだなこちらの動きをして守りを固めたのかまった言っとこが俺が情報を流したわけじゃない信長を攻めあぐねて義元殿を狙うその程度読まれていてもおかしくはないねむしろ思い通りにことが運んでよかったいや何でもさて3人にはそれぞれ頼みがあるまず<笑>直政殿は義元殿とケマリを楽しんでくれけケマリオーマイガール主前殿は炎症殿になるべく近づいてもらいたいただし手出しは無用に願うナオトラ殿はまひとまず俺の近くに you sly dog you men go run off I'll stay with the young lady 待ってくれ指示はそれだけなのかあとは状況を見てお許しさよ今は信じて任せてもらえるとありがたいんだがねわかりましたナオマサ殿各殿の考えは読めませんよ俺たちに他の手があるわけでもありません何より名士の劉備殿が各殿を信じていますここは策に従い戦うのが最善かと<笑>話が早くて助かるよそれではおのる方よろしく頼む I'd imagine it's very odd for Ju Ron to actually listen to Jiashu but it's okay so battle objectives 400 with magic whatever I can take my time defeat Magoichi as long as he dies I can take my time We need this to happen. Juran Naomasa. Let me see. So here's Juran and here's Naomasa. Okay, and they need to reach Yuan Shao and they need to reach Yoshimoto. So how are we gonna go about doing this? They're facing me this direction. And I don't know who's going to follow me. And I have seven minutes to do this. So if if I go this direction and I mess up, that could ruin the whole thing. Seven minutes is kinda limiting. We have the enemy has Diao Chan, what in Tarnation? Gracia. Alright. Wow. What wait a second, we have Taishit so in our army, isn't he in my team? That is so weird. He's in my team, right? Xu Huang's on my team, Tai Chi Tzu, and Ken Shin. That is so bizarre. So when I switch over to Tai Chi Tzu, is he still gonna be there? Interesting. I didn't think uh, stuff like that would happen in these newer games anymore. But let's begin the battle. So let me make sure. Juran and Naomasa. Juran needs to get to Yuan Shao. Let me see where Yuan Shao is. So here's Juran. He's down there. Yuan Shao is over there. So Juran looks like he's just gonna take the left route no matter what. What I could do is get uh, Naomasa up to Yoshimoto, and then from there I start killing all the enemies in Naomasa's way. No, not not Naomasa, in Juran's way to get him the Yuan Shao. We'll see how it plays out. Let's begin the battle. Oh, they have like some story here from Orochi 3 Ultimate. If you guys wanna read this stuff, feel free to pause. Oh, actually, all of this information is in the, uh... 
is in the options menu. Let's try out the first magic. What the hell is that? Oh boy. What in tarnation? So as long as there's enemies to jump on, that one is a funny one. That one is actually a funny one. Let's do the big magic, the triangle. Oh boy, that oh. Why why did the young lady not get this? I don't even get it. Why did she not get this magic? That even makes sense. And now we gotta try out the uh, other magic here, the big one. Dude, I only have six minutes already. What? All right, big magic. That one was not too bad. You guys know how I feel about that. Alright, so, so far, the two magics that I've seen are the same. Are exactly the same. To Lu, to Lu Shun's. If I had to pick between Lu Shun and Kenshin, I'd probably use Lu Shun because he looks more like a fire dude. You know what I'm saying? Though this is so awesome, I can't deny that, man. Alright, let's try out the R1 circle. Let's see if that is... Oh! Oh! Damn, if you get caught in that, some pretty decent damage. Half his health gone in pretty much an instant there. Alright, you're the last one we've got to check out, buddy. So this character is continuously going this direction. I may just blow this guy up. Because there's a lot of enemies up here. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just get rid of all these enemies. We got some new supports here. We got some new juice. Hadouken! The big one. Boom! He survived! What in the hell is that? Oh, he throws the axe! Wow. Let's try out uh, an R1 triangle here. Oh, shit. I'm gonna miss. Oh, man, you can hit... Whoa, dude. That's, that is an interesting... I've got four minutes, guys. We are not looking too hot. He's reached the Imagawa camp. Try out the big one. Oh, woo, that looked brutal. So he just had to reach the camp. All right. Let's get over there. This is the fastest mount we have in the game right now. I like the speed. I must say the speed is definitely fitting of a god. There be gatekeepers here. I don't really need them, do I? I do need you. The horse is definitely faster, but this just looks awesome. Woo! <laughs> Alright, we need to get down there. I have three minutes, guys. Is it doable? It may be. Alright, we've got a big one to see here. Oh, surprise, boys. Alright, let's keep it going. Duran's got places to be, gate captain. Ah, oh, you little gate captain, little fucker. Where is he going? Yan Liang, of course. Lock on system, hello. I like the uh, that one part of the magic there. I think it is quite good. Oh, I can't turn any more than that. Oh!
Yeah, these attacks are not they're not working out guys. <laughs> I will say that one's kind of cool tossing the hammer at him. I do have to check out this ability though. We have about 20 minutes guys. Not 20 minutes, we have like two. Oh my god, we have two minutes. Let's blow this guy up. We've already seen this one, but I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. These uh, magics that I'm trying out here. Let's blow this area up and see if we can get through here. We have a minute. So I kind of have to get through here a little quicker than that. And I hope killing him does gives us something a little extra. Alright, let's see if we can get in here. Let's go, let's go. We have a whole minute. Let's see if we can eliminate this guy. Sweet, perfect. Absolutely perfect. He needs to get to this gate here. Oh man, if he can get to this gate, we're gonna be in good time. That one's not bad. The axe is not bad at all, guys. I kinda dig it. Come on, come on, come on, Juran, you got 50 seconds! Yeah. I kinda dig the axe, but maybe not for this character. Conditions 2 of 2. Now we have to defeat Magoichi. Man, the timer is still going. It's a little nervous. A little nervous right now. That was a 300 hit combo, damn it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> I was gonna say, you bitch, you cheated me. <laughs> but we got, we got what we were looking for. Oh, the Achan's here. Oh boy, we're gonna have troubles here, aren't we? Oh, that's Dong Zhuo. Okay. Closer. Oh, with the Archan, of course. Of course. Whose magic do Let's do this one. Mm, that looks like it hits so hard. Oh, you look. God, that thing! <laughs> oh, that leap! Surprise! Dong Zhuo, you're really the target here. Let's do the big Muso attack. Kablamo, baby! You know, he's kind of lucky that she died. Good night, Dong Zhuo. And the mission's not over. There's still Magoichi out here to defeat. Magoichi, where are you? Mago. Oh, hello, Magoichi. Hello, hello. We're gonna blow everyone up over here, Michael Bay style. Man, look at all the stuff here. Let's blow these guys up in style. Of course, they're not gonna die, but they're gonna be hurt pretty bad. <sighs> if I had to pick, like, one of my favorites. Oh, that looks cool. But if I had to pick a favorite, a unique magic, definitely. Definitely, uh. Between these these players, hmm. Oh, man, dude, get destroyed. The unique magic. 
It's actually difficult to pick right now, because... Oh! oh my god, it misses. That magic is not that good. The triangle one is cool. His his uh, unique one is actually pretty nice, I will say. Let's do his unique one again. That looks stronger than it really is. Like, I feel like it should be so much stronger. You get what I'm saying? Yo, this hallway is beautiful, guys. Holy moly! This, this is what I play Musou games for, to get into hallways like that. And there's still more! <laughs> I love it, man. Alright, let's go uh, and defeat the last officer out here. We're gonna hit him with everything. The Rage, the, the Johnny Cage, everything. Let's hit this. Let's hit this group. I, I got the weirdest feeling I could get another meter up. Just to get gems here. I'm probably not gonna get S rank because I'm always fooling around. But you know what? Screw it. Oh my god, can we keep the combo going? Oh! Jump on him! There's a, and I think there's an achievement for uh, doing, um, man, I think it's been two minutes. I think it's been, if you do this within two, twice within two minutes, you get an achievement or whatever, but I think I didn't, I think I failed. I probably would have gotten the achievement already, right? Whatever, 10 items and gems. Uh, where shall we go? Let's go end the stage before somebody dies. Oh, we gotta check out the, uh, the attacks on this. Oh, it's just regular attacks. It's only the elephant that has unique things like that. Hello, Yoshimoto. Yoshi, Yoshi. I actually like that, the unique move, the most. That's my favorite unique move, I actually. Taishirt, sir, you are going to do the rage. Oh, yeah, here we go, baby. We're missing everybody here. Ah, uh, we didn't get to do enough. I probably should have hit more people with that. But the horse, badass, moves quickly. I like it a lot. Now we gotta try out the other mount, see how good that one is. My guess is... Uh, if you had to pick between this horse and the blue horse... For terms of being viable, this horse is better because it's probably gonna be... Because there is no special attacks like the elephant. So you're probably gonna want the speed from this thing. But, if you were going to use the blue horse for a little bit of everything, hopefully there's a unique attack to justify this, because I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. So right now, I like the behemoth a lot. It's slow, whatever, but it has very unique attacks, which are kind of awesome. It shoots magic, for God's sake. Oh my god, Yoshimoto, please. This guy in his game. It's kind of like me with Muso game. <laughs> Just like that. We have a new friend. Yoshimoto will join us. I bet he has a new magic too. Just to, just to punish me. Right now, hmm, if I have to pick a, a Livatine, 
Lushun is my winner right now. I love his unique attack better than Ken Sheen's as well. Lushun is the man with the plan. For now. I gotta wait till I get every character. And then I'll find out who my dream team is. Ooh, we get Grassi. We got a lot of characters. Looks like we're pulling about five characters per stage, it would seem. すごい。角度の策でこんなに味方が増えるなんて今なら信長にも対抗できるんじゃないか。腕輪の妙な力があるあの、それってこれですか？ uh -oh. She's gonna transform. Let me see that. <laughs> of course, he wants it. Nothing happened. So Yoshimoto Imagawa has become your ally. Boom, Yuan Shao. Oh man, how cool would it be if Yuan Shu was this game? His story was so sad in DW9. Probably one of my favorite stories in a game because I actually you got to see him you got to see the buildup of Yuan Shu. And then you see all where the douchebaggery where it took him in the end, and then he feels bad, and then you feel bad. It's like, oh man. Is he a jerk because his life just sucked or man we took 10 years to beat the stage guys but at least i had fun it's it's one or the other i either kill everything and run out of time or i do it really quick but uh, i'm missing a ton of kills growth points are looking good gems are looking kind of bad but luckily we got 1600 from the objectives um prize Ooh, what is that oh a silver spear that might be like a lotto ticket thing we're selling that Yuan Shu, uh, Shu Huang, I, what do I want to do? We're going to dismantle. I don't plan on using him. While I do like, um, oh, we're not selling that, dismantle. While I do like Ken Shin, I do like him as a character. I'm not really digging, uh, his, his unique magic. I think Lu Shun's is superior. So this may be the first game where I'm just like, Lu Shun is one of the best. This is probably one of the first ones where I'm not probably not going to use any of the characters here. So let's go ahead and uh, continue on forward. We'll see what kind of magic the new characters are bringing. I can prepare them for next episode. And, oh, we have a, a video clip here. Hmm. <laughs> ああ、両さんじゃない。で、覚えてないか。お久しぶりに始めまして。また一緒に遊びましょう。ただ <笑> That means he doesn't know how many, but he's looking himself. Yuan Chao, couldn't you put two and two together? The Bear Princess Kai. Hey, みんなに声をかけるまに逃げられちゃまずい。急いで向かうとしよう。ま、待て。これだけの数で戦いに挑むなど無謀な。うん。
そういうことならちょいとだけお待ちよ力を持て余してそうな味方がすぐそこにいるんで誘っときます Chapter 2 Chaos Incarnate now available. So we got ourselves some new stages, some new characters to peep out at. Let's go take a look at what these new characters are packing. Did you guys stay in order? You did. Oh, you won. Sh oh, we have another Bow of Artemis user. Hello, hello. And you, Cerberus. Ooh, 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 ooh. If I was going to try someone. It'd have to be Magoichi. I'm just not a fan of this guy's moveset. We will try out the Cerberus. Oh my god. That is gonna be nice. Um uh, Levy Teen. I will try I just I'll see how Yuan Shao's looks like. I got it's all based on their ultimate, their unique one. So if his unique one is good, Big Daddy Yuan Shao can stay in the team. While I do think the hammer is a neat weapon, it's not really a bad one. This one's not bad at all, actually. I do think it's a neat weapon. I don't think he's the person I want it on, if that makes sense. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to... Let's see how her... Uh, we've seen... Uh, Nobuyuki's ultimate. I kind of want to see what Gracia's ultimate looks like. So we have a Dynasty Warriors character, two Samurai Warriors, and next episode we will try out the Kelpie too. Let's see if we can mess around with some of this. We need another Samurai. Actually, we have two Samurais and two Dynasties. I think we're okay. I think we're more or less alright. Did any of the new characters bring new juice? You know what? I can put Kenshin here now because I don't plan on using him. 423, is there someone with better stats than that? What 423? I could actually put uh, Tyshirt Silla there, not that it'd make a difference. But 423. I don't see anyone that is surpassing that ability there. 442, 424, yeah, I don't think there's. I mean, there's some that go above and beyond, like Tadakatsu's 503. But I think, I think the combination we have is quite good. I believe we can totally stay in the zone we're in right now. And just kind of roll with it. Though we could use a 424 if there's another one out there. Is there? 422, here's 423, 414. I wonder if there is another 424. Well, not right now. We'll probably unlock another one later. Just to get even better stats, you know what I'm saying? 404. <laughs> I don't want that, you bum. Alright then, well, that's fine. So we'll leave it like this. Uh, next episode, we'll level them up and all that good stuff. Guys, thanks for watching as usual. Uh, actually, is there an upgrade I can do? Sweet, we can up upgrade everyone's defense right now. Let's do it. Kazam, gems, baby. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I catch you all on the next episode. Until then, see ya.